Hi crafty friends, welcome to Crafting with the Gringas. Today we're going to talk about what you need as a beginner crocheter. You will need yarn. I recommend a four weight yarn or a medium weight yarn to get started. You will want to save the whites and the light pastel colors as well as darker toned yarns for after you've practiced a bit. You'll want a yarn that will make it easy to see the different parts of your stitches. Next, you will need a hook. Your yarn label should recommend a hook size for the yarn that you have. Remember, you don't have to spend a lot on hooks. Um, these aluminum hooks work out perfectly. I crocheted for years with aluminum hooks until recently that I've gotten this. You will need some scissors. You can get started with anything you have around your house. And you will also need a yarn needle. This one has a pointy tip, but they also have blunt tips or plastic needles also work well. These are perfect for children that want to crochet or as, as well as a blunt tip metal needle will also work for children. So you want some stitch markers. There are a variety of stitch markers. What I use are these. These work well for clothing items or little bit bigger thicker yarns okay I, my favorites are these it's kind of like a safety pin type these are my favorite because I like to do a lot of amigurumi and that's they're small enough that it doesn't leave holes in my projects okay but you don't need these to get started what you can also use bobby pins You can use paper clips. You can use safety pins. Or you can also just use a piece of extra yarn that's obviously a different color than you, that what you're using. Okay, that will also keep a place for you. We'll also mark where you're at on your rows and everything. And lastly, a tape measure. I've got this one and as you get going don't don't be worried as you get going you I'm sure that you'll start collecting more and more things to put into your collection now let's start with how to make a slip knot okay I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tell okay because you want an end to sew in so you're gonna make a loop your end that has a tail, you're going to push it through the loop that you make, okay, and you can tug on it, okay, and that's a slip knot, and if you pull on it, it comes apart. Let's try that again. Make a loop, you're going to take your tail and push it up through the loop we made, okay, you're going to pull on the loop and you're going to, I'm, I'm holding my tail with my little finger. Okay, and I'm going to pull on the loop and I'm going to pull on my working yarn. That's a, the yarn that's attached to the ball. And we can put our hook into our lo the loop and tighten it. And that's a slip knot. Let's work on learning how to chain. Okay, so you're going to hold your yarn how, what, however it feels nice for you. This is how I hold mine. I just put, put the yarn in between my fingers and I hold it a little bit here that like just with my little finger and that gives the tension I need as I go pulling on it okay to give some tension to my stitches so you want that to be a little bit tight I also use this these fingers these two fingers okay I used to hold on to my tail and as I get going and have fabric to hold on to I'll move my finger up so that we're gonna yarn over so that we're gonna take our hook I'm going to put it under the yarn so the yarn goes over the hook and the hook goes under. So we're going to yarn over and then we're going to slowly turn our hook and pull it through that first little loop that we made. Okay. Now let's do that again. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, 
pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you just keep practicing. And I will see you back with the project. Okay, today with the chain, what I'd like to do is make a little project. We're going to make a bracelet. I happen to have here some embroidery floss because I can't find my beads <laughs> that are a little bit, that have a hole big enough to put my yarn through. But this will work fine. You guys get, if you have beads that are a little bit thicker that will fit onto your yarn, you do that, okay? You know, I don't want, as a beginner, you're still not going to want to use probably this embroidery floss. Maybe like a two weight at the most. But, okay, so I've got some beads. Just going to put the yarn through the beads. You're going to want to put a few more beads on your on your yarn just in case. You can always take these off after you've cut your, like after you've finished off the bracelet, but you cannot, it's, it's harder to try to add more if you're missing. So just put as many as you think. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, I just put 11. Okay. And it's not, it's probably not that important how many you put, just, you just want something that's going to be able to go around your wrist. I'm going to make my slip knot, I'm going to leave a towel to weave in. Okay, so we're going to push that through and pull. I am going to use a smaller hook just because, and so this is embroidery floss and I'm going to use a three millimeter hook just because it is, my thread is so small. I'm going to chain one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to take one of our beads and pull it up. Okay, and we're just going to do the same thing. It's a little bit awkward because that bead's there, but you just keep chaining one, two, three, Four, five, pull another bead over, one, two, three, four, five, and pull another bead, one, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you want it to be just a simple bracelet. You can stop there, just measure how big you want it. Or you can keep going and wrap it around your wrist several times. So that's completely up to you. I think I'm going to keep going a little bit more. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I think I'll be making this for one of my daughters, and so 
And it'll fit around her little wrist. Two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're going to go to the, our first stitch. Okay, we're going to take our yarn, wrap it around, and we're going to pull it through. So we've got two on our hook. And this, this loop, we're going to pull through the loop that's on our hook. Okay, then we're going to chain one, and we're going to cut our yarn. Okay. And then we're going to pull our hook and then we're going to pull that chain that we made tight. And now it's time to weave in our end. Okay, we're going to go up, find a few stitches to go through. You're going to want to go up and then you're going to want to work your way back down. And that's just going to help keep it a little more secure. Okay. And we can cut our tails. And that should be a little bracelet for my daughter. This little wrist. <laughs> so, so I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you back in the next one. Bye.